night. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link with whoever you have of network, Facebook, Twitter, or whatever you have. Uh, today, our topic is Allah knows best. You know, um, the Muslims always they try to decorate their religion to make it look the most fantastic, romantic. Uh, you see a mosque, you can tell how much money they spend to build it. But one of the things, maybe many of you do not know. If you go in the Middle East, as an example, you go to Iraq, uh, you go to Jordan, you go to uh, anywhere, I mean any of those countries, Saudi Arabia. They have millions of people, they are hungry, there is no jobs, prostitution, drugs and the government have no money but the second you say we want to build a mosque the money have to come from the middle of nowhere they have no money to build a school but they have money to build such a mosque there's no money if you go to Gaza where the Muslims uh, Hamas take over there is no money they're crying for donation Muslims send donation please help us the money come there's no schools there's no jobs there's nothing but to build a mosque well, the mosque is fantastic not only a mosque I mean why why the mosque have to be fancy well, you know like if you have money and you build a fancy mosque good for you I mean okay you have a money but if you are in deeply in need then why the money goes to make a fancy building because this is not really required I mean what what is the point uh, when the Christian missionaries they go to Africa and they feed the Muslims the Muslims accuse them of converting Africa, African Muslims into Christianity by giving them a sandwich okay my friend why you don't give them a sandwich why you have money to build 100 million dollar mosque in Manhattan and the Muslims in America is very tiny number it's not even one percent but you don't have 100 million dollars to send them to the poor ones dying in the Middle East or in Africa and then they sponsor their propaganda with a lot of money making movies media etc about the perfect the beautiful the amazing islam a lot of money uh, even movies even uh, you know al qazafi as an example he made uh, he made a movie it's called the message and he hired the most famous expensive actors in all of the world to be part in that movie a lot of money and for sure those actors are for sale they don't have really dignity I mean eh, whoever pay me I will say whatever he wish so they brought uh, Anthony Quinn they brought all the famous uh, you know uh, actors and they made a movie about Muhammad they have money in the same time they don't have money but can you make a cult something good by money you cannot it doesn't matter how much money you spend I can destroy your cult in two seconds and here is my challenge to the Muslims who they are listening you Muslims you keep saying to us Allah knows best I am here to say to you in a friendly way Allah knows nothing and this is the clear reason for you to leave Islam so who is the Muslim is listening who is willing to prove to me that Allah knows anything anything any any even normal stuff we do not know I mean even something that kids knows even that Allah do not know prove me wrong If there is any Muslim listening? If there is any Muslim?
would like to prove me wrong. I can open my pal talk. You can call me live. You are welcome. Anyone? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim would like to do a, take a challenge? Nobody? Well, this is the problem. You see, like, if you are a person who do not know what you are talking about, the Muslims will be lined up to debate you and to prove you wrong. Especially if you are a blonde uh, uh, American, male or female, you know. But if you are female, for sure, they will line up like crazy. And everybody will you know, add you to his uh, list to talk to me in private. They will line up to prove you wrong. We are the Arab. We have a problem. Nobody line up to, de to debate us and to prove us wrong. Hmm? Right. The answer is very simple. They knew they are no match. Who? Munir Habash has a live debate with me after... Who is this Munir Habash? I don't know about it. Where is he? Is he here? Who, who is this guy, Munir Habash? <clears throat> I know, I, I have no idea. Actually, I was thinking, I wasn't uh, thinking to come because I have a little headache. I wasn't thinking to come on air, so he's coming. Who's this guy? <coughs> well, anyway, he's welcome, whoever he is. So, do we have any Muslim want to say something? And tell this guy what his name, I don't know. <coughs> he will call us. And this guy, he will call me where? Uh, he wrote something in Arabic in his page. What is his page? <coughs> so he wanna. He wrote in his page. He wanna. He will debate me. Okay. Who wanna bet that he will not come? This Abdul. Let us see. Hi, here we go. And where he would call me in Skype or in Paltalk? <clears throat> thank you, thank you, Lee. No, I'm fine, you know. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you have a headache. Uh, that's not a big deal. It's good you have a headache. That's mean you have a head. So anyway, let us go to business. Who is a Muslim want to prove us wrong? Anyone? Anyone? Someone challenge me right now? I don't see the challenge. Why you need to challenge me? Just call me. I mean, what to challenge me? What do you mean you would challenge me? I mean, <laughs> is that like I challenge you, you challenge me? <laughs> call me. Let me open my pal talk. Hold on. <clears throat> don't, no need to challenge me and no need to challenge you. If you are a man, call me. Here we go. I will open my pad talk. Talk is cheap. Right? Okay. My pal talk is open. Anyone would like to uh, call me if he's a Muslim? Uh, text me, please. Uh, 
anyone? Let me be sure that the audio is good in Peltok. Allah knows best, huh? Hmm. Must be true. I mean, Allah knows best. Allah knows everything. True story. Uh, when I'm looking in Pal Talk to see if there is, you see, we start having the same problem. Like people, they send me uh, uh, chat, you know, Christians. I mean, we say that this is not really to chat with me and. Uh, Either you have something to do with what I do, or don't text me. But what you can do, I, I open my list so anyone can, can call me, or they can text me. Uh, and now I start getting messages, use, use these messages. Until now, I'm just looking at the text messages of people. Use this text. Thank you very much for wasting my time. So, any Muslim would like to call us? Who is a Muslim would like to give me a call? Nobody. Okay, well, you don't want to call me. You see, we give you opportunity, a chance to prove us wrong. If you go to Muslim website, you will have a lot of articles, scientific facts about the Holy Quran, facts about the Quran. I mean, and when a, when a Muslim, he say the word facts, literally me, I die laughing. I mean, facts. Facts. What facts? Scientific facts in the Holy Quran. Are you sure it's a fact? Who is a Muslim here? He is sure that those are facts. Anyone? Where where are you? I mean, what's wrong? What's wrong? I want to see the scientific facts about the Quran. You see, I'm showing your article. I can give you the article, you can read it for me. But who is a Muslim when approved with this article is even can be accepted for a kid? Here, yeah, let's go back. The concept of God. In Islam, God is nothing like a human being or like anything that we can imagine. I mean, this is the most stupid definition, but isn't it Allah He says to you that He is like a tree? How you say we cannot imagine how Allah looked like? And then Allah, He described Himself as a tree. Let us go to the Quran. Shall we? I mean, I don't know. So, you know, but the problem is most of the time I feel like those who write articles claiming that they knew Islam, they are like kids. Uh, All right. You cannot imagine how Allah looked like. Can you? No, you cannot. cannot. And you cannot compare Allah to anything. Uh-huh. Okay. So what is this? Are you going to say to me, this is the Eve Quran? Are you going to say to me that this Quran is rejected? If we cannot compare Allah to anything, so how Allah He compare Himself to the following? 
Allah is the light of the heaven and the earth and the parable of his light as as you see the word as Abdul this is your translation a niche and within it a lamp and the lamp is in a glass and the glass as it were a brilliant star light from the blessed tree an olive neither east nor west so, so. you just told me that nobody can compare Allah to anything and Allah cannot be compared to anything but Allah uh, as you see he compare himself to tree to olive to olive oil I mean is a tree something or it is not some nothing You guys, please don't send me private message in Pal Talk. I told you, I don't want any Christian to send me private message, please. You have a Muslim, don't waste your time. Give him my uh, Pal Talk and he can call me. Don't tell me about a Muslim when I call you. Why did him call me? You're just wasting my time, disturbing my, you know, should I block my list again? We have it, this program, only for Muslims to call. Just to make it simple. Don't send me messages. You want to say something to me? Send it to me in the chat here. So, you cannot compare Allah, but Allah, He compared Allah to a tree, a blessed tree. A blessed tree. What is the blessed tree? What is the compare between Allah? What is the relationship? Allah has given us a parable, right? Okay. What is the blessed tree which is having olive and Allah like a lamp? And this lamp is light by olive oil. Pal talk, pal talk, pal talk is open. Any Muslim? So we cannot compare Allah, but isn't it Muhammad? He said that even the Quran, it says the Quran says Allah have hands, Allah have eyes, Allah have foot, Allah have a shin. The second you call it a hand, you compare him to a hand. There's a sheikh in YouTube. He says, Allah has a hand. What I can say? Allah, he said, he has hands. Do his hand look like our hands? No. How you know? No. Oh, because he said nothing like him. But he said hands. <laughs> you see, we could about how the hand look like, brother. As long as he have a hand, it's when he have a hands. If you go in YouTube and you search for videos, let us do that. Allah has Just type Allah has hands and you will get Allah has parts. Allah have body part. Allah have uh, two hands. Allah have five fingers. Allah have a foot. Allah have a, uh, you know. Uh, okay. Allah has what? Read with me carefully. Allah has hands, mouth, heels, fingers, shin, even shape. This is what? Deen Islam. This is the official Islamic page in YouTube. Allah has all of those. So how you say to me, you cannot compare Allah, and then you say to me, Allah has hands, and Allah is not a man. Allah is not a man. How he is not a man? Okay, so what does that mean? He is not a man, what he is? And why he have hand anyway? You see? When uh, many many of the Christians and uh, you know non-Muslims, even Muslims, if you ask a Muslim who is Allah, he do not know. They know nothing about him. All what they know is this silly stuff. He have a shin. Yeah? Why well, Allah have a shin? Why he have a shin? Muslims, why Allah has a shin? If there is any Muslim can tell us why Allah he has a shin. What is the purpose of having a shin and why? You see, when you say to me, Allah have hands, it's mean he use it to grab things with it. When Muhammad, he says, Allah have five fingers. 
Uh, that's mean he is what five fingers or why five why not six any Muslim why he have five fingers <sighs> okay, look like maybe we have a Muslim. <coughs> Hello? Hello, how are you? I'm fine. We are live on YouTube. You don't mind to be in YouTube, correct? Yeah, yeah. All right. I just wanted to search. Uh, I don't want to pull talk right now, and I just wanted to have a conversation with you. No problem. We are live in Pal Talk, and we are talking about Allah know nothing. So, what do you think about Allah knowing nothing? No, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Uh, here, I want. I just want to make a difference with our conversation here because. You always are criticizing Islam. Okay, it's not a problem for me because I don't ident identify myself as Muslim or Christian. I was born in Islam, first of all, mm. in a Muslim family, okay. and now I am a I am a very skeptic, skeptic about everything, religion, Christian, and Islam. Mm. And recently, I have been searching about Christianity. Mm. I just 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 not just maybe I, I don't know. So you, did you two leave, days ago, did I just watched the video Holy Fire in Jerusalem. I'm searching about Christianity deeper and deeper. So mm. did you leave Islam now or not? I, yet? No, it is not. A, it's not a matter of leaving Islam because no, it's a matter uh, for me. You I, see, this is my friend, my friend. Listen, this is what I. This is what I do here. This is what I do here. I said, I said to everybody, if you are a Muslim and you send me a message saying you are a Muslim, so either you are a Muslim or you are not. Are you a Muslim or not? Wait, this is the problem because I don't know exactly. I don't well, know. When you know, let me know. I mean, if you yourself you do not know who you are, are you asking me to tell you who you are? Because I have lots of doubts about Christianity and Islam. So I don't care about your doubts. Wanna... This is not my business, my friend. I am here. We have a topic. The topic is about Allah know nothing. And suppose <laughs> you are a Muslim calling me to talk about the topic. So now you are calling but... me. You send me a message saying you are a Muslim, but now when you call me, you says you are not sure. So you were lying. Yes, you. Yes, you're right. But I, I just wanted your attention for me. Oh, so you are you, have, are you are fabricating uh, a news for? In no, a, I'm not fabricating. So are you a Muslim or not? I sometimes. Are you a Muslim? Look, sometimes, are you a Muslim or not? I don't as Muslim, and sometimes not because I have some some doubts in my mind. So what do you but mean? You wake up in I the morning. Some, as, you wake up in the morning as a Muslim. You sleep as not a Muslim. Either you are a Muslim. You're no, a man. How, how old are no, you? I'm in. I am searching right now because I have doubts in my mind. My so friend, this is not the I question. To, are you I a Muslim or this is my, my not? This is not. My, I don't care. You have a search. No problem. I'm asking you. Are you a Muslim or not? How you identify yourself? Are you a Muslim or you are not? Now, right now. Yeah. No, maybe, maybe agnostic. Okay. Well, I. What, what you will talk to me, Mister Agnostic? What I will say to you? You are agnostic. What, yeah. What I will do with you? My question is about. My question is. My question is about Christianity. Well, but we have a topic. The topic is about Islam. You want to talk about Christianity? Go. There's many, many programs. They speak about. Christianity. But you're always talking about Islam. Maybe because we this can is my talk specialty. This is my specialty. This is what we are here to talk about it. And I'm, I'm, I don't care for you as an agnostic. It's not my business. Go. You know, have fun. Be agnostic. What agnostic mean? Do you know what agnostic mean? Yeah, yeah, I know. What does that mean? Yeah. You are not sure whether God, whether God exists or not. We can't know whether God exists. Agnostic means you are not sure if God is exist or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is what agnostic means. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I know. Hmm. No, that's okay. That's good. But uh, I want I want you to help me, <laughs> my friend. How I can help you? You are not sure of anything. Uh, but but uh, do you do you remember your name? I, ju do I you, just want do you to rem do you, rem questions. do you remember your name? What? Do yes, yes, I, I I am. Okay. So what's your name? Uh, my name is Mujahid. Mujahid. Okay, Mr. Mujahid. Do you yeah. Know what, do you know what Mujahid mean? Yeah, I know. What Mujahid mean? Mujahid is a warrior of Islam for okay. the cause of Islam. All right. Are you still Mujahid or you are not a Mujahid no more? Me? Yeah. And you know, Mujahid is coming from the word of jihad, like effort. 
Mm, so okay. uh, I'm doing effort in every in every way of life. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know. Yeah, but you see, anyway, for me, I, I have I have no problem to answer your question about Christianity, in condition. Yes. You announce now in front of everybody that Mujahid he decide to leave yeah. Islam and Muhammad is a false prophet. Then we can change the topic just for you to help you. Can okay. you? Can, can you we announce? Change topic just for just for helping me. Just for you. Just for your sake. Okay, my question is no, no. About before this before you ask the question, you have to say because my you are making me change in my topic to answer you about Christianity, but you are not listening. Yeah. I just said, if you are a person who call me as a Muslim, and then you decide while you are talking to me to leave Islam, then I will give you an opportunity to change the topic just for you, so you can ask me about Christianity. So. Do you denounce, do you refuse Muhammad as a prophet? Do you announce him as a false liar prophet? Uh, man, if this, is the, if this is the case, I don't need your help. See, I'm see, you are anything. being hypocrite. A second ago, you said to me, I am, I am agnostic, which means I'm, a, I'm out of Islam. And now you are not, a, not, you are not willing to say, I am out of Islam. Yeah, I'm not. So if you are out of Islam, that means Muhammad is a liar. Man, this is not so easy. No, this is what means so no easy. Either you are or you are not. Either you are trying to fool me or, or fool yourself. What's wrong with you, man? Either no, you say to I'm me... I'm not trying to fool you. I, I'm okay. very sincere. So I'm, a, really, I'm, I'm asking you honestly. I'm saying to you, are you out of Islam or are you still a Muslim? If you are, if you want me to change the topic for you, I told you, people who call me and they leave Islam live on air, you know, I give them opportunity and invite them to Christianity and then you have okay, the right, maybe, do you have the right to ask me about Christianity? Due to my recent actions, maybe I now out of Islam. Right? Due to my this is not my. This, uh, do, my do you denounce? Do you denounce? Do you say Muhammad is a false prophet? Look, I gotta get very clear proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. So you are still a Muslim. Here we go. So, okay. Okay. Look, oh, no problem. So, so why are you are changing the topic me. to go about Christianity if you are looking still for a proof that Muhammad is a false prophet or not? Why you want to change the topic? Let us go. Let us see together. What make you stay until now as a Muslim? What make you stay as, until now? Because you are saying, give me a proof that Muhammad is not a false prophet. So what is making you stay as a Muslim? Can you tell me? Yes, this is, uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, what is making me still Muslims? Hmm. I don't know. The sociology of Quran. How you, um, have you ever heard of such an answer? I mean, uh, you, you do not know why you are still a Muslim? Me? Yeah, you, you, not me. Uh, I'm not a Muslim. Know. You, 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 yeah, you, you, you. So you, <laughs> why are you still a Muslim? I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, is that an answer for an adult, for a mature person? You tell me I don't know. Be honest with me. I'm not insulting you, but I'm asking you, please. Are you being, I mean. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not Muslim. I don't know. Maybe you're not. Know. What? A second ago, you were a Muslim. Are you a Muslim or not? I'm saying, due to my recent actions and beliefs, I'm not a Muslim. Why? What you did? What is your recent action? Because what you ate ice cream. For example, sometimes I believe in sometimes sometimes I believe in Christ. Hmm. Like yes, you must be the really God. But then some doubts are coming to my mind about Christianity. So I just want you to make clear statements about my doubts. So help me. But I, I cannot help you unless I clear your doubt first about Islam. So because yes, because uh, now you are confused between I'm both. Make. Okay, so what what make what, what make Islam still a religion for you until now? What 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 making you stay there for a second, even to think about it? Give me the reason so I can help you. You have to give me the reason. If you tell me I do not I know, is, like imagine, I imagine. Think this is uh, oh, hold on, Mujahid, Mujahid. 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 I think there's a consistency and. Co Ima like, uh, Ima yeah. Listen, imagine you, imagine you go to the doctor, imagine you go to the doctor and you doctor, he asked you what's wrong with you, you said, I don't know. You don't tell him what is my headache, you don't tell him what, what is the pain, you don't tell him what do you feel, I mean you decide to be mute, so how he will help you? So you need to tell me, you need to maybe, help me, in order to help you. Maybe you I help can me. tell you some things, like, I can tell you some, some things that stay, that keeps me away from Islam, like some facts. For example, the age of Aisha. For example, wait, wait, I'm just gonna count them. Wait, I just noted them. Take, take notes. Um, let me find them. Wait. 
Yeah, for example, hmm. uh, you know those. You know the words sperm or fluid coming between the backbones and ribs or men, for example. Yeah. And Surah at talaq mm. uh, 65, verse 4, the permission for child marriage in the Quran, mm. like. Okay. And uh, the adopted son of Muhammad, you know, marriage with Zayd, married, the wife of Zayd. And lots of things like. Like, sun is setting in a murky water. Okay, so, okay, anyway. I, I, I got. So uh, now, but that, after, that's all, like things. after all of those, still you are a Muslim. I mean, a sun set in murky water. You just, uh, you just agreed that the Quran says the but, sun set in murky water. Still, you want to prove that Muhammad is a false prophet. But this is the same question I want to ask you. Are you still the Christian that you know the world is flooded, like the world is covered with water for forty days? And but, scientifically, you are still Christian. Okay, I will. Like okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Scientists, they For agree. Example, hold on. Hold on. Let Christian? me answer you. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. What yes, the whole me? world. Okay, you see. Hold on. Uh, you know, when you say the world is covered by by uh, water for forty days, right? You, see, you are yeah, saying that. Okay. In the, in okay. the yeah. In okay. the Old Testament. Isn't it now they are talking that if a global warming stay, the whole earth will be covered by water, flood will make continents. But is there any scientific reference for my this? friend? My friend, like in, or, in order to Do say scientific, yes, reference? yes, even scientists. Okay, let me show you. If I show you scientist proof, are you willing now to say that you are a, you are ignorant? You are not. So did you search Google before you open your mouth? Yeah, I, I searched. Yeah. Okay. If I show you that scientists they said that the whole earth was covered by water, what you would do? Yeah, I will say other scientists don't say. Okay, so what we would do now, we will kill the one who don't say and we will keep the one who says. What we will do? No, we but we are gonna make a comparative analysis. No, my friend, my friend, you see you are you are you are being funny now. So you are saying to me we're science. Not, you want to say science? We're, we're, we're okay, hold on, hold ourselves. on. When you say science, which science you are talking? The, the science you like or the science you don't like? Here we go. This is a new scientist. This is a new. This is a magazine. Have nothing to do with Christianity. Okay, have nothing to okay, do with Christianity. Okay, show me. Okay, show me. I, it's I in the screen. It's no. a screen. Uh, early Earth was covered in a global ocean and had no mountains. This is what they are saying. So now what we would do with the scientists, they are saying the whole water can cover, the whole earth was covered by water. I didn't know that. I didn't okay, know Okay, you that. do not know that. Here we go. I, I just showed I, you. Look, I, I am very sincere in my belief. Just, I'm trying to find my way. I'm trying to my find friend, the truth. I am not against I you. No, listen, I listen. I have no yeah, intention of Mujahid, Mujahid. people. Uh, uh, Mujahid, I'm not against you to find your way, but I want you to be smart, okay? Not because somebody says this is not science. I mean, what science? If, you see, even those that are saying that the water is covered, covered the earth, I don't even care for them. I don't even give them a credit. I'm just showing you. I don't go by what they say because... You know, uh, 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 somebody want to go back on time and go when they're supposed to. They claim that they can they can go back in millions of years. I mean, this is impossible. This is stupid even to believe. But this this is what you're saying. The science you like is is saying to you that the whole Earth was covered by the ocean. That you know, this is what they are saying. Is it, does that mean I believe them? I will not believe a, a, not even a word of what they say, for a very simple reason. Everybody come with his own theory. So science is not especially about things. There's no way, no way we can prove it. So they say to you theories. They give you theories. Here we go. This guy here, the scientist here. This is an article written uh, 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 May 8, uh, uh, 2017. Okay. So until before 2017, everybody believed that the earth was not covered by water. Suddenly in 2017, the earth was covered by water. What is the science before 2017 then? Do you understand what I'm saying? So all but the scientists, so all the Sometimes. scientists before, all the scientists before 2017, they were donkeys, and now they became horses. This why I don't believe in, the, in their science because their science it can, can can be changed. Today they, they say something, tomorrow they might say something because it's not a fact. They are not speaking about fact. Those this is why those things are very flexible. Yesterday there was no water covering the the the, the, the earth. Today, okay, they some guys they, they came with a new. Uh, 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 a statement saying the earth was covered by ocean. Okay, so which one of them? A scientist who was studying in school two days ago. In our country. Hmm. Which country wait, is yours? Let, let, let me speak. For example, in our country, in Istanbul, we have a very renowned professor. How was, how was, how was, how was, how was our doing? Hilal Shangdur. 
Well, Erdogan, he proved that Allah is exist. You know, he and opened... And he says lots of things Erdogan, about theology. He opened, he writes uh, lots opened, of things about theology. Uh, Erdogan, he opened a water melon and he found the name of Allah inside. I mean, this is a miracle. What's wrong with you? Don't you believe Erdogan? Wait, I, I, didn't, I didn't hear. Can you, okay. can you repeat so, it? So, Mujahid, Mujahid, listen. Don't tell me in your country, don't tell me in my country. Science have nothing to do with country or ethnic or, 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 or anything. But... Uh, if you wanna, if you wanna decide, uh, uh, like make your decision about who is telling a lie and who is telling the truth. So there is, there is uh, things. There is a person, uh, the Quran, as an example. Muslims they claim, and you are a Muslim supposedly, that this is word by word sent down from Allah. Correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now, if we have somebody, let us say, I was in the time of Jesus. Okay, and I was a follower of Jesus, and then I made an I made a little book to speak about my life, and let us say in my book I wrote something wrong, something uh, scientifically not correct. Let us say me, yeah. you know, not anyone. I'm not talking about any of us. Me, 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 yeah. Slightly. But this is me. I'm not a prophet. I am not God. I am not. I'm a human. But but when we find a book, the Muslims they claim every letter written there is sent by Allah. And then we find that this mm -hmm. book is full of stupidity. So what is holding you from leaving this stupidity? I want to know. Um, what is keeping me in Islam? Okay. This is a very beautiful question. I think I need to think about that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you like versions. It's okay. I mean, I like versions too. You know, uh, like... Uh, uh, you know, imagine I go and then there is a heaven and I open the door and then 70 women, they jump on me. I mean, like, wow, I, I, guys, I have to go. I have 70 women waiting for me. So you, you see, maybe, maybe because you, uh, Muhammad, he is still holding on you from your private part, you know, because you want to have the versions. Uh, maybe because mm. your belly is hungry because Muhammad, he promised you that you will eat bird meat. I mean, even the open buffet in the heaven is very silly. Have you ever heard of an open buffet? Have only one kind of meat, bird meat? What is the, there's no shish kebab, there's no beef, there's no lamb, there's no shrimp, there's nothing, just, just birds. So, you know, mm -hmm. so when we speak about God, we need to discuss, can God be silly? Can God be silly? The God of Islam is a silly God. Have you ever heard of a God, he promised you to wear a bracelet? Do you like to what wear a bracelet, say? Mujahid? Right. Like females, like women, do you like to wear a bracelet in your hand? No, no, of course. Why? You don't like to be a girl? No, actually, I would like a girl. Well, so why Allah will make you wear a bracelet? Here we go, the Quran. Or can you show me the verse? A chapter 18, verse number 31. Uh, can you show me the English? Uh, yeah, I will show you it in English. No problem. It's in English. And uh, if you like uh, any translation you like, we can change it for you. Okay, this is. It doesn't matter for me. I don't know. No problem. Whatever translation you like. You speak Turkish, right? I can maybe search for. Turkish. Yeah, yeah, I speak Turkish. Okay, let us. My let, native language. Let us search for Turkish. Maybe Turkish will help you better. Aman, Rabbi Aman. Where is the Turkish? Uh, and don't tell me they don't have Turkish here. Dutch, English. No, it doesn't matter. I, I I can understand English. You understand English. I'm also I'm reading English. Oh, okay. That's wonderful. Okay. All right. So your God Allah will will give you bracelet. What do you think? But man, it is a different context. For example, you are being served like you are given some wines that doesn't make you like drunk in heaven. So it's a different context. No, my friend, you said to me where it says that you will wear a bracelet correct okay does the verse yeah. does the verse chapter 18 verse number 31 says allah will make you wear a green garment made from a stabrak which means is made in iran and with the bracelet of gold is that true okay no? okay okay Do you th i think i think this is not a wallet i think this is not a wallet statement it's not what for you to i think this is not a wallet statement what I think it's not, a, it's not silly. I think and in heaven, why, why is not silly? Why is not silly? Maybe, if, if maybe I promise you, okay, hold on, hold on. If I am God, if heaven. I am God, and now I want to convince you that in my heaven you will have fun, and then I will say to you, I will give you a green shirt, 
and a bracelet. And you are saying to me, this is not silly? I think this is not silly. Why, why are you saying this is silly? Because this is stupid. I mean, a bracelet, first of all, this is not even right for a man to wear a bracelet. Secondly, how silly it is to promise me a bracelet of gold. Why? I am a dog. What does that mean? And what would that for me? What, what gold? What is the value of gold in heaven? If everything for free, you see gold here is expensive because here gold is, is rare. So we, the, we have a money, money value. Otherwise, gold, what is gold? So in heaven, you promise me I will wear clothes from silk. Well, I prefer to cotton. So now I will wear a green. Even I don't have a choice of a color. All of us, we will be in heaven like, like those uh, cartoon, you know, the green cartoon babies, uh, the, the midget. So all of us, we will yeah. wear a green silk clothes made in Iran. And we will wear a bracelet. Isn't it, isn't it funny for you? And you are saying to me, this is not silly. Yeah, maybe this is silly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe this is silly. Did you, see, did, you, did, yeah. did you see the kids when they go to school, like in, the, in Turkey? Is, uh, do, do they have a uniform for kids when they go to school? They do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, this is what yeah, it will be. Uniforms. It will be wearing a uniform made from a green, and Allah will give you a bracelet when you enter the school. What is that? This is heaven. This is the promise. So now I'm going to do jihad. I, I changed my name. I call myself Mujahid now. And I decide to join jihad and kill for the sake of Allah. And then when I go there, I get a shirt, which is a green. And then I will get a bracelet in my hand. And this is God is promising me. And then not only that, I, he will say, I will be reclining on my in my couches. God promised me to recline my, I can recline my couch here. God, is he there promised you. Is there a problem with, with reclining on couches on raised? It points? is a problem because this is silly. This is stupid. I mean, what kind of God is God? Okay, hold that on. Is silly. No, it's a silly. silly. No, no, it's silly. No, it is silly. We are talking about. Islam you are talking heaven. about heaven. We will have things we don't have. If we have a break, you know. But because he was speaking to the Bedouin Arab who sleep in the floor, they never have a couch, they never have a cushion. So he promised them things. They will wear uh, uh, silk, silk, like, green yeah, silk, yeah, like. Uh, like rivers, yes, like rivers flowing, floating, like because it, it was a desert, and so so this is gonna be God murder. because the promise what the promise He has made for only those people who never saw uh, gold and silver and clothes, the, the, the Arab, or this is a promise for everybody. Is the Quran is for everybody, including the Turkish like you, yeah. or only for the Arab who live in the desert? And now in the Arab and they live in the desert, they are very rich. They made their bathroom from gold, but. Maybe we can think of it that maybe it is it was for their time to understand and grasp all what the for what what what, what 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 are you talking about? I mean this is this is stupid. This is okay, hold on, hold on, you know. I will be reclining in my uh, couches, wearing my bracelet, my t-shirt is a green, and and I am in heaven. Imagine you are wearing a green shirt for eternity, all your forever. That's it, the same green shirt, and you are wearing a golden mm -hmm. bracelet, and you are reclining in the throne. And this is heaven. Do you think really this is heaven? <laughs> okay, I, I really want to know the concept concept of Christian heaven as opposed to Islamic heaven. Well, uh, Jesus said it clearly that in heaven, obviously in heaven, there's nothing is physical. The heaven is a spiritual. You will be happy in a way nobody can describe. Jesus, he said that he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels, which means heaven in Christianity, the first promise, you will be free, free of your needs. You will be the same as an angel. You will not need to eat. You will not need to have sex. You will not, because those are needs. You know, sexuality is a desire, you know. Uh, food mm -hmm. is a is an is a is a need. Uh, uh, so all those needs you will you you will be free from them. So the first promise from the Messiah is that our heaven will make us free. In Islam, you will be addicted to gold, addicted to food, addicted to silver, addicted to sex. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, there is one God. He promised you addiction, slavery of your belly and your stomach and your uh, sexual organ, and there is the God. Who promised you to be free and to live with him? Uh, you know, uh, uh, a happiness nobody can describe. Have nothing to do with your belly. Can God make me happy without eating? Yes, He can. Can God make me happy without having sex? Yes, the one who created sexual uh, 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 pleasure for me, He can. He can give me something better. So God is Almighty, and He promised us in that our His heaven, nothing can be described. And nothing to compare with to what we have. But Muhammad is just saying to us, 
okay, uh, we'll give you a bracelet of gold, I will give you a shirt. I mean, this is a guy, he was talking to a bunch, <laughs> this is what they do in Egypt, like in Egypt, you know, a guy is going to the parliament, and then people are coming yeah. to vote. If you vote for him, he will give you uh, 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 one chicken and uh, uh, one kilo uh, uh, shish kebab. So vote for me, I will give you one chicken and one shish kebab. This is what Allah is doing. So he's trying I to tempt. Yeah, this is this is not uh, this is cannot be God. This is a man. His name is yeah. Muhammad. Trying to tempt people, the poor, that go fight, kill for me, and I will pay you later. And you know what? I wish all of people they will. Uh, hey guys, who want to give me all his uh, the money he have, and I will pay you later in heaven. I will give you a bracelet from gold, and I will give you a couch, and you will recline in the couch. That is silly. So all of this to get this, all this drama we do to get this, what is that? You know? So mm -hmm. w w uh, uh, in order for me to believe that this God is a truly God, he have to be first uh, mature. This is not a mature, this is a kid trying to promise us to tempt us. You know? Where, where, is, where is God in this? And wh what, what kind of God mm -hmm. he described even what is inside the vagina of the women? Why, you, why I need to know what is inside the vagina? Are you interested? Okay, in I understand. Yeah. Uh, can I ask my second second important question? Okay, go ahead. Uh, my other question is like you know in Islam there's a concept of prophets mm. sent down to every nation on earth. Mm. But in Christianity, I think it looks like it's only in one area and for one nation like no that's not true children no 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 that's not true and no. before christ no, what no. was the situation no. what about the people who, no. don't, who don't who don't know about christ no no so, you see no the bible no the bible there's tons of verses first of all god he judge a nation if a nation they never heard of about uh, they never receive a, a, a messenger as you claim and that can be happened Still, God, when He created us, He created us who, like you see, the, the design of God that He inside you, He put inside you what is it like to know uh, a basic of what is right and what's wrong. Like, you do not need yeah, to. Yeah, futrat. Yeah. Futrat. So, this is already you've been given that and you will be judged by that. You will not be judged mm. because if you don't have, if you don't have a message or a messenger, then what's your fault? Mm -hmm. You did not. Really, like somebody now, he never heard of Christ. He lived in the jungle mm -hmm. of Brazil, right? Okay, so how he will go to hell? That's not right. So the Bible says clearly, yeah, right. you will be judged by what you know. Okay, this is why if a person he have a, a kind of illness, like there's many people they are born and their brain doesn't function right, right? Correct? Nothing. I mean, it's not their fault. Correct? So how mm -hmm. this person will believe? I mean, he's he's not he, he have a defect in his birth, so he will be going to hell? Absolutely not. Uh, obviously, mm -hmm. he will go to heaven because. In order to make the decision, you have to be given the the ability. So God judge you by the ability He gave you. Same time, when the Muslims they say that every nation we send them a messenger, but the Muslims cannot count for us who is the messenger was sent to India, to China. You know, India have like four hundred languages. Okay, who is the messenger yeah. was sent to India? They cannot count. Who is the who is you know, um, I don't know. Okay, so how? No one knows. And the Quran, see, but this, this is silly. I mean, this is stupid. I, the one is talking is God, yet he do not know. And this is what you are talking about. Allah knows best. So Allah knows best, but yet he have no answer. So we never send any apostle, any messenger, except to his people speaking his language. But this is mean Muhammad is a liar. Because how the Muslim, they say that Muhammad was a messenger for all mankind, but he don't speak the language of all mankind. And he is not from the kind of all mankind. It says yeah, this is another conviction in Islam. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree with you. So, for us, you know, for us, uh, uh, you know, we, 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 our belief is very simple. And uh, uh, when you ask why God want to judge a person who do not know, who said that God will judge a person who do not know? This is why Jesus says, if you don't become the same as those little ones, he meant the children, uh, you, you know, you cannot enter the, the kingdom of, of, of my father. So, uh, uh, for us to be qualified to go to heaven we have to be the one like the one who know nothing which mean innocent so if a person is honest and innocent he go to heaven because he do not know better but still he is good you see yeah 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 so he commits sin yes but he don't commit sin uh, because you know let's say uh 
uh, a person he never heard of Jesus okay he have mm -hmm. no idea even what the word Jesus mean let us yeah, say jahil, a, yeah. a person no a person who live in the jungle he don't even talk okay a Tarzan he's like a Tarzan right uh -huh. but yeah. he, he he you know he avoid killing uh, people he avoid stealing he avoid basic things in his simple life still he is a good person in the eye of God because yeah. he is doing what he need to do based in his knowledge he kill animals to survive, mm -hmm. but he don't kill a human just to survive. There's many people they kill to survive, but they kill a human. As an example, you don't have money. You see somebody in the street, he have money, and now you want to survive. You want to make yourself rich. You kill him. That's make you a criminal, correct? So yeah, you yeah. are you are a person who live in a civil life supposedly, but still you are not civilized. But there is a person who don't live in a civil life, but he is more civilized than us. So who is the one that deserve to go to heaven? It is him, not me. Yeah, yeah, you're right. All right. So, yeah. yeah, but you see, that when Muhammad he speak, when uh, Muhammad he, yeah. he he proved himself to be a false prophet, because what is the yeah. niyat when Muhammad he says any woman she can give herself to the prophet? What is the niyat here? Can you tell me? Niyat, oh, by the way, guys, it's me like a, a, your action is by, by your will, what you want. Ah. So what was what was the purpose of Muhammad? His God giving him a verse says, "Any Muslim woman she can give herself to the Prophet, so he can." Yeah, yeah, I know, I know this verse. Okay, like but, this kind of verses are keeping me away from Islam. You know. Yeah, but what is the purpose and, of this? Still, yeah, still, you see, you see, it's keeping you away. But you did not until now. You did not say to me, "I decide to leave Islam." You see, after we, you, look, you, I'm saying maybe I am only the other Islam. Huh? That's not a problem for me. I'm just trying to find the true way. Really. No I'm just problem. To... Okay, but you just agreed with many things with me. Each one of them is yes. to make you leave Islam. So why you don't say it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Makes you happy. I can't say I, I, I am living Islam. I, I, I have no problem. Why you cannot say? <laughs> Are you scared? Is your wife behind you? She is, she is big and beautiful. She will hit you or what? No, no, no. So why are no. you afraid? Why are you afraid? What will happen? No, nothing will happen, but... Do you have a four mother-in-law and they will kill you if you do that? No, no, no. How many mother-in-law you have, Mujahid? Be honest with me. Do you have four? What? Do you have four wives? No, man. Why you don't I'm have single. four wives? You are single until we now? Took we took are very away from Islam in terms of living, in terms of thinking, hmm. you know? So... I, I would never I would never do such an action to marry up to four wives. Why well, you don't have four wives? I, don't you think it's beautiful to have four 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 wives? You go like a, one she is doing massage your feet, the other one she is making you hummus, the other one look, she is doing look, the dancing. Look. No, what do you think? It, it's a it's a permission. Permission. If there's a situation, I think if there's a situation that other other like uh, how to say. Mm. Other women are in need of you, are, are in need of protection or any kind of things. So it's a permission for you to marry up to ah, four wives. So I Muslim men, they marry four women to protect them, not because they want to have fun with four wives. Uh, come on, Mujahid, this is not true. You know, this is not true. Yeah, look, look, it, it can be true, but it can be understood. And my friend, if you are a way. good guy, okay, hold on. So you are saying to me, in order to protect the women, she have to take off her panty. I mean, can't you protect her? And give her money or food without sleeping with her. So, in order to protect you, you have to take off your panty. I mean, is, is that the law? Is that the logic you are giving me? Hey, hey Mujahid. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mujahid, you are an yeah, orphan, yeah. and uh, there is a woman. She like you to protect you. You are like six six years old, but she like to uh, take off your panty, and she will give you food. Uh, what do you think? I mean, this is what you are saying to me. So, this is not right, uh, Mujahid. You are. Yeah, this is not this, logical. Right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I now understand now. Thank okay. You. Okay. So and my, I have another question. Mm, okay. If I, if I, I don't want to take your time, but no if problem. you if you are willing to answer. Okay. Okay. Can I ask? Uh, sure. Go ahead. But don't don't give yeah, me, okay. don't give me a harder question because I'm not really smart. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you you are you are smart. You are smarter than maybe. Do you know, Mujahid? I will tell anyone, you. Anyone I, else in I, this I will tell you. I will tell you a secret. All to, I will tell you a secret. That's between me, you, and, and the people in YouTube and Facebook and Twitter. That's between us. 
you know, do you know I was number one in the classroom? Do you know I was number one in the classroom in school? No, I don't know. Yeah, but you I was. The, but I was the only student in the classroom. You was the only. You were the only student. This why, why I was number one. No. Oh, why? Because you were a question. <laughs> because I was a troublemaker. All the kids run away. I have a classroom. Nobody enter it alone. I just alone. Just you know, teach, even teachers don't enter. So I am alone. And, I, oh, and this is what happened to Allah. Allah, Allah is the best of the. Uh, did you hear about Allah is the best of the creators? I mean, He is alone in the classroom, and He is the best of the student. And you ask the Muslims, okay, if there is other student, they say no. So how he say he is the best of the student? What do you think? Mm, okay. Anyway, I just want to ask my question. Can okay, go ahead. Now? Go ahead. Okay, my another question is for both, like any for Islam and Christian. It's about Islam and Christian and other religions, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just right. I'm right now also trying to go deeper and deeper about science and religion and philosophy and everything about this kind of things. Mm -hmm. I don't give a damn about other worldly life things and such things because it's not important man hmm. so my question is for you um what do you think about the evolution of the theory of evolution evolution yeah the evolution theory well you know because uh, it's it's yeah. very I, I mean it's a dilemma it's a dichotomy for every religion i think hmm. no actually you know you see god he gave us ability to survive but the evolution we believe in is not the same as some they claim like you used to be a chicken and you became a monkey that would be stupid because still we have not a monkey it's coming from a common ancestor no, come on man no 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 don't do that no 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 there's nothing is called ancestor this is stupid this does not exist common they, ancestor no they cannot they cannot prove such a thing you know uh, well, do you know anything about mastodon or other mammals okay i will show you like, a i will show you a picture of me in the screen of okay, okay, Mujahid, i will show you a picture of me when i was a kid is that okay Okay, yeah, but this is a long time ago. So like, you know, don't yeah. uh, don't take it against me. This is when I was a long time ago. Okay, so according to your evolution, the scientist, I was like this. And then I became the way I am. But by the way, it's not much different. It's just uh, like uh, uh, my beard but, is bigger. But, yeah, so but there's a problem. Of, there's a problem of seeing yourself as superior to other creatures. Like I was like that. And then I became man. No, you should be this, humble. Is not, this is not evolution. It this is not evolution. It is what it is. My it friend, is right. evolution. If, if, if we can, if we can accept this, uh, like God, He gave you as an example the ability to survive. So, as an example, if you are a person who live uh, in in a cold area, uh, let us say you are a bird. Okay, you are a bird. Okay, so you will see that the bird uh -huh. who live in a cold area still he is a bird. He did not. He did not became a snake. But what happened? Jesus, that, right. that his his uh, his uh, he he he. Uh, he saved more fat in his body, so he can make isolation like insulation for the cold and, the, and you know, for the weather because he's, he, he he live in a very harsh weather, the same as the one who mm -hmm. live in the desert. So the, the one who live in the desert, he have to uh, to hold more water. So every yeah, creature, yeah. he been given ability to survive and to adopt. So if this is the evolution mm -hmm. we are talking about, yeah, if this is the evolution we are talking about, I agree with it. But the evolution that we I used to be something uh, and then became something I, I find it very stupid and I can defeat it very easy as, as an example. They say to us like the reason for evolution is the needs. Is that correct? What what, what? the needs, needs the needs the needs like your needs you have a need you have a need like a ah uh, yeah, yeah 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 okay so course. so I have a need now I have a need I have I like to have wings I want to have wings I want to fly I honestly I like to fly but I I, I, yeah. I look every day in the mirror and there's no there's no uh, Wings is coming. I mean, I saw that only in the movie, the like Batman. But uh, uh, all of us, we have needs. A human being, he have a lot of problems in his body. So if if we but can, that, if we can change, listen, like listen, 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 listen. If on. if millions of years can make us a change and fix those needs, why we don't fix it? As long they but say to us, no, no, listen, 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 Mujahid, listen. It doesn't work. What you wanna be? No, it, it works. works. No, no, this is what they are saying. The evolution, this, this, your body make you what you wanna be. Like why, a, why a man he have a penis, and why a woman she have a vagina? Because simply, uh, according to them, hold on, according to them, that you inside you, the cells decide that I will make a, a vagina look like this. I will make a penis, and they fit together. That's stupid, you know. You, because you cannot, you cannot decide, and you can make such a thing to happen. 
uh, how the sale is going to think about this i will make, i will i will decide i will i will uh, i will uh, f- uh, uh, make or manufacture two kind of DNA and those DNA they are different structures and they, each one of them will make different uh, uh, male and female if the need for a male is to to, to have uh, babies well you used to be a sale and you're having babies which means you are like uh, uh, increasing number without if we don't need to say babies but you are increasing number already so there's no need for male and female there's no need for a gender so if the purpose is to generate uh, 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 more of your kind then still uh, they used to survive without penis and without a vagina so why they make a video you know who is the one who made this vagina and this penis so all the theory is very stupid and very dumb but you know if you decide to be a dumb you you so, it. It. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think uh, uh, Mujahid did you decide to leave Islam or not yet Islam yeah yeah, okay, I, I, that's, it's not a pro- I, I, man, I am saying over and over again. No, no, say, say, I want to hear you. Uh, uh, Mujahid, 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 Mujahid. Okay, I, I am. <laughs> yeah, say it. Okay, doesn't matter if you. If no, it matters for me. It matters for me. Uh, I want to know. I'm wasting my time with you, or you, um, you are being serious. So after all what I said to you, and you agree with me about Muhammad and his 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 his, his, his the stupidity in the Quran. So why you are not willing to say I am out of Islam? <laughs> Because I I don't know I I, I have some pressure on me because of external things. What? A second ago, a second ago, uh, you told me that the, the backbone and the sperm is a stupid. A second ago, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, So but, is this stupid? It's but stupid. sometimes I am reading I am reading counter arguments, right? right? I'm reading counter arguments which are very current and consistent. And I, what uh, and consistent? I'm, I'm okay, saying, oh, what, what, what consistent? What consistent? You just admitted that the Quran is full of stupidity. Either the Quran is the book of God or it's not the book of God. So is it the book of God or not? Man, I don't know. I can only say what I believe, but now what I do believe. You, don't believe? In... you just agreed with me. You agreed with me that the Quran is a stupid book. Aren't you the one who said this is stupid, this is contradiction, <laughs> this is silly, this is... A t-. You just said that. It's there. People are listening on YouTube. So and now you are saying to me, uh, you are contradicting yourself. But I'm, I'm a kind of man that all that keeps all like, uh, as a place, as a place for time. Like maybe I understand, but I misunderstood religion. Maybe I misunderstood verses. Well, maybe I'm wasting my time maybe, with you. What do you mean? Maybe? Keep, Listen, Mujahid, are you are you okay, my friend? You just admitted that this is stupid. How many times you said to me, I will show you a verse, you said this is silly. So now you are saying to me, maybe I m- misunderstood. Why you are, why maybe? Are you uh, are you mature? How old are you? How old are you, Mujahid? I, I, I am 21. You are 21. I'm 17, by the way. I'm 17, by the way. 17? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> because my mom, she cursed me when I was 17. She said to me, may Allah not let you grow. And since then, I am still, because, you know, the curse of Allah is very powerful, you know? So since yeah, yeah, since yeah, the yeah. age of seventeen, I did not grow. You know, I can prove it. I did not even in, increase in, in height. You know, so l- listen, Mujahid. Don't waste my time. Perfect. As long you agree that the Quran is full of stupidity, then you have to agree that Allah is stupid. Look, I can't say like that because uh, it will be disrespectful for. You're respectful. I well, I am okay. You are. So you are being. You are willing to be hypocrite just because you don't want to be re- disrespectful. This is what you are saying to me. No, not not hypocrite, man. Okay, so Allah is a false god or not? He's a false god. What does this have to do with respect? Say the truth. Is he a false look, god or true god? Look, it's like what the evidence shows us that it is most like that Islam is a false, maybe false religion, and Islam is a like Allah is a wrong god. Okay, hmm. but I should always live at the pace. Maybe because maybe I misunderstood some verses or, or no, you're not context. misunderstood. No, no, you a second ago you agree with me. And who is who was who is uh, who is the one saying to you misunderstood? Okay, sure. What what is the verse you misunderstood? You agreed. I mean, when you say I agree with you, this is silly. Are, are you being foolish? You agree with something you are not sure from, or what? What do you mean? Like, as far as I'm concerned, hmm. like you just showed me some. You know, uh, Mujahid, Mujahid, Quran, Mujahid, and I agreed with you. Do, do you see the picture in this in the screen? Yes, yes. Okay, why why this guy is doing that? He's doing that to you or to me? 
What? I, I didn't this monkey it. is like surprised. Like, what the heck would? Uh, is, is that he's doing that to me or to you? He's putting his tongue out and he's looking at us in a very funny way. Is that because you are saying crazy stuff or because I'm saying crazy stuff? Either you say Muhammad is a false prophet because you agree that this is silly and this is stupid. So how you agree? Okay, okay, you, I, okay. I am saying. Okay, okay, my battery is running low. My computer battery is running low. Okay, I'm saying. So you agree, <laughs> Muhammad is a false prophet. You agree? Uh, I don't want to make a. I don't want to. I don't want to make a statement like that. Okay, man. you don't want to make statement online. Is that the case? Because you don't want to speak on life on air. You are afraid. No, I, I, I am afraid of nobody. Okay, so why you don't say it? I'm afraid. I'm afraid of the fact that maybe Allah is maybe Allah. Is. What Allah? Okay, oh, okay. I, when Muhammad he says, if women have uh, 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 mujahid. When Muhammad he said mm -hmm. that the women, not only the women, like she have uh, sperm coming from her ribs. Have you ever, by the way, seen any women she have ribs before? Did what see, ribs? Did you what? see any women ribs before? What do you mean by rib? ribs? Ribs, ribs, like the, her, the chest. I saw ribs before. I was in the beach. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, year. I saw. Of course, I, I saw, saw women. They have ribs. Man, I, I saw something really scary. I saw a woman. She have like something white in her chest, and and I thought she is putting a lotion. But after reading the Quran. I discovered that this is her sperm, disgusting women, unbelievable. She have no shame, unbelievable. But look at this hadith, brother. Here it says, the Messenger of Allah said, that if the man, if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy uh, and resemble the parent, uh, the father. And if the women have orgasm first, the baby will look like the mother. What do you think about this intelligence? But, by the way, if I wanted to become a real Muslim, I will, uh, like, I don't know, I will disagree with all the hadith. What? I don't care about hadith. Okay, my friend, uh, nice talking to you, but I just showed you already that yeah. the Quran is stupid and you agreed. So I'm wasting my time. Thank you. If you change your mind, let me know. You can call me. Uh, but I will say to him, I mean, he agreed the Quran is stupid and he does not willing to say Muhammad is a false prophet. Go on, what they can do. Don't waste my time. And, you know, in case, in case ever I marry a woman, I will have a condition in her. That she should not, you know, she have to have orgasm first because I don't want my child to look like me. Honestly, this is a disaster. I mean, my because my child would hate me. He would say, "What what I did to you? I mean, why, why, why I look like you?" So thank you, Prophet, Prophet Muhammad. You save the future of my children. I want them to look good. I'm going to marry a woman. She is beautiful, and I promise I will never have orgasm first because I don't want my child to look like me. I was worried actually uh, that my children they will look like me They're disgusting scary I mean that's not fair I mean the child like he, he born like no way but now I'm safe now I know the solution I will I will uh, marry a beautiful woman and we make an agreement she have orgasm first and then the children they will look like uh, the mother that's wonderful I mean that's beautiful no and now I, I hope all of you taking notes. You know, if you are ugly, like me, don't have orgasm first. Let your wife or husband have orgasm first, depending on you are, how ugly you are, like me or not. I mean, I am handsome. Do you know uh, the one who said to me, "You are handsome"? Okay. Do you know that line will take you to high, to to fire, brother? I mean, how you say that? Don't say that, brother. Actually, I have to agree. The only like, the only one understand me in this life is Doctor Zakir Naik. Brother Tita, did the person name a different brand? And he always speak about Islam it being fake. And all what he say, and he confirmed that he is ugly. And actually, I have to agree with him. He is extremely agree. And this is why he's still single. Otherwise, explain to us why you are single, and throw out your faith. So as if you are faith, if you are not really, as you say. And this is why he don't show his face. And Zakir Naik, he knows best like Allah. Right? Hmm. Are we good guys? How many of you are here first time? Who's here first time? I feel sorry if you are first time. That's it. You will be addicted. 
That's it. It's like drugs. You will be addicted. Now, do we have any Abdul who would like to call us? Your first time? And I advise you to hang up and go to a different channel, my friend. Unbelievable. First time. <clears throat> do we have any Muslim here? Why Jesus, Why is Jesus God? Hmm. Hey, Sinus, I don't know. Like you see, when, you, when somebody asks a question, uh, you need to tell me first what is God for you before I answer you. Always, always, like, you know, if, if you say to me, why car is car? Shouldn't you tell me first what do you mean by car? Like, do you, do you understand that the car the same way I understand it? So before you tell me why God is God, why Jesus is God, you tell me you need to tell me first in your definition who is God. And then we can answer you. Do we have any Abdul? Any Abdul? You see, the problem is, you know, like uh, this uh, gentleman, uh, uh, Mujahid, he's a nice guy, but you see, he is not uh, thinking deeply. Uh, he is, uh, uh, he is being, with my respect to him, I'm not trying to insult, he is being shallow. You see, you have to be deep and you have to be sure. Uh, that's it, you know, the Quran saying stupid things. There is no point of return. Either he is smart, I mean, the one who wrote the Quran, or he is stupid. So if we agreed and we reached the point, we say this is stupid, that means this is stupid. Here we go. This is a prophet of God. He claiming that Allah told him this. And then he says to me, he don't agree with the hadith, but Islam is based on the hadith, not in the Quran. Okay, what is the punishment for adultery for someone she is married in the Quran? Huh, I don't believe in the hadith. Okay, no problem. Show me, where is, where is the punishment? Uh, any Muslim? For me, always when I think, I don't know. Maybe uh, I don't know. I, I, I mean, everybody is different when he, you know, he the way he think about things. But uh, people read words, and I read words, but I see them differently from the way they see them. I believe because they did not train their brain to go beyond beyond the word. It's just he read the word. You, you know what I mean? Like uh, somebody he said to you a letter, and then say, uh, "Okay, um, hey, hello, how are you? I'm fine. I say hello to everybody, etc." But if you are a person who have a really, uh, uh, if you think deep about the letter. You can feel if the person is happy, unhappy. Even he did not talk about his happiness. Even he did not talk about his situation. But you can tell if there is something really exciting about him. He is happy. Or you can tell that this is a letter. It's just to, don't worry about me. So many people, when they read, they don't read really to, 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 uh, uh, to examine things, to feel them as much they read words. How was the universe created, CP? Jesus came along much later. Yeah, but the, the coming of Jesus does not mean this is his existence. Jesus says, before Abraham I am. Okay, so Jesus came after Abraham, as we know. But that means he was before Abraham. And the Bible says, everything created by him and for him. So, if God, he appeared to me, as an example, let us say, if we say that we have a radio wave, a radio wave is, exists since the creation of this earth, or the universe. But we just discovered radio waves, maybe 100, 200 years ago. That doesn't mean that radio wave were, were not there, but we do not know about it. So, if God appeared to us 
in a, in, a, in a person of a man does not mean that God, he was not there before that date. When we say Jesus was born 2,000 years ago, doesn't mean that Jesus is exist in that point. You understand? It's like somebody trying to say to us that teeth does not hurt. Why? Because he never heard of something called teeth pain. And one day he got his tooth hurting him badly and then he will know what he's talking about so human being he always judged by experience you know something he never experienced so he think it's not exist so if something never happened to us doesn't mean it's not exist like electricity you know now we have electricity now we uh, even you can turn the light by your phone okay but electricity was always there our body is just a form of electricity so, not knowing about electricity does not mean electricity was not there before we discovered electricity, you know. So, either you want to think shallow or you want to think deeper. It depends who you are. So, do we have any Muhammadan would like to say anything? So, Allah knows best what? Allah knows nothing. He does not know how the sun rays, how the sun set. He did not know anything about the earth. He don't even remember how he created anything. So when they say to us scientific facts in the Quran and this crazy stuff, they are they are fooling us. As an example, here look at this one. Now, this is an article. I just look for it. Uh, concept of God. Okay, we answer this one. Scientific facts in the Quran. Very good. Number one. The following nine scientific facts found in the Quran. There are nine only. There's no ten. I mean, come on. This is the, I'm disappointed. Only nine? Are you sure? Origin of life. Okay, what is the origin of life? We made every living thing from water. Will they not believe? Chapter 21, verse number 30. Guys, who can refute this? CP, are you a Catholic or Orthodox? I am not a Catholic. I am not Orthodox. I am not Protestant. I follow the Messiah, the Christ. I don't believe in those names. I believe only in the Lord. Guys, how we can refute this verse? Is it true or the Quran is contradicting itself? I made a video just a few weeks ago. I don't know, how, maybe a week ago. I don't know how many of you watch it. Is it true that everything is made from water? According to the Quran, let me show you how silly the Quran is. You see, I'm not discussing now if this is true or not. I'm not discussing. And I believe there is there is many creatures, they have no water in their body. You know, there's no water, not necessarily. But we will go with the Quran, that every living thing is made from water. And by the way, if I say everything lived by water, I mean, or made from water, this is a basic knowledge of, a farmer and all of us we need water we don't drink we die cat rat human trees plant I mean not. but anyway we'll go with this verse when the Quran says uh, everything is made from a form of water and then we find the Quran saying the following first I get get the get the verse the verse they quote for us all right Chapter 21, verse number 30, as you see in the front of your eyes. Chapter 21, verse number 30. Wonderful. Okay. And of the water, we made every living thing. That's wonderful. Let us go to the front verse on the Quran, and let us show you how easy to get the author of the Quran busted with no mercy. All right, guys, what this verse is saying? Does it say that the genie are made of fire? Does it say that the genie and shaitan, which means shaitan, is made out of fire? Yes or no?
Any Muslim? So how you say, you see here, speaking about creation, Adam was created from mud, and mud is water. Uh, you know, the mud, a uh, mix of dust and water. Okay. So, Adam was created from mud. The translation, by the way, here is not accurate. It says dust. That's not true. It says teen, and teen is a mud. Let us cha change the translator, this the donkey. Go to different donkey. Yusuf Ali. See here, the translation became a clay. That guy, he have a dust. Stupid. So here, uh, Allah, he said to the shaitan, what prevented you uh, from bowing down to Adam? He says, why oh, I want to bow down for him? You created me from fire. You created him from clay. But the other verse in the Quran saying that everything, everything is created from water. Is that correct, guys? Is that correct? Is it, this is a clear contradiction? Either everything created from water, every living thing. Is the shaitan living thing? Yes, he is. Are we following, guys? Okay. So this is the first bust. We have a second bust. Anyone can help me? Anyone can help me? There's more. How many kinds of a creations according to Islam there is? Anyone knows? Angel are made from light. <laughs> Is the do the angel have a, have water, Muslims? <laughs> Unbelievable! I mean, the one who made the Quran is a certified idiot. He's a certified idiot. So, Shaitan is made uh, 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 you know, from fire and angels are made from light. So, how the Quran says we made everything from fire, from, from water. Everything, every living thing. Any Muslim have a comment? Anyone? So th this is how easy to debunk uh, 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 the foolishness of the author of the Quran. If we go in the Hadith, Muhammad even he give us more details voluntarily. And I like Muhammad, he volunteer a lot. I like volunteer people. Charity, he talk too much. The more he talking, the more he get himself busted. What Muhammad said, look at this hadith, he gave us all the answers. And this is Sahih Muslim, this is Sahih. So they cannot say it's weak and it is garbage, you know? This is Sahih, as you see. Okay. Angel, here the translation says born, that's false, doesn't say. It says khuliqat, which means created. The angels were created out of light and the jinn were created out of fire and adam was created from a clay not born of stupid translation so how the quran says everything is created from one origin isn't this what the article guys saying the article says the origin of life and the article saying every living thing Every living thing. Muslim want to call me. Well, who is holding him to call me? So what I would do now? I would go drag him. Right. Did you see anyone call me? Nobody. Are we good? Anyway, guys, I'm not going to stay long today because I told you already I have headache. It's not easy to have four mother-in-law. Me. In the mother day, you have to buy four gifts for your mother-in-law. 
and in the uh, you know when I first time dated the first four wives we went to a restaurant and I hold their hands all together eight hands and I look at their eyes four of them and I said I love you it was very romantic like holding eight hands of four women in one table and you look at them from right to left and you say I love you so um, it's very romantic I can it's so good it's so good to be true that's that's true love that is true love loving four women at the same time that's priceless I want to do that from time to time you know but uh, uh, by the way I can do that but you have to pay for the four wives who they are on the table okay just to let you know and the funny Muslim they say to us Muhammad was so poor yet he have 13 wives in the table I mean how he can feed them imagine you take with you 13 people to the, the to the restaurant and you have to pay for all of them and you have you are poor they are very poor it's I mean what you can do poor all of us poor we are poor we have 13 wives poor 13 wives 13 houses 13 meals and each one of them she have tons of servants and slaves poor hmm? yeah anyway guys I think it's time to go I will try to be here tomorrow don't forget to subscribe and join us each time we go live on air and uh, if you like to learn more about Islam uh, always watch my videos they are all over the internet and by the way until now not many of you subscribe to uh, my other uh, account in minds minds.com so uh, if you don't mind uh, it's for free there you do not need I mean it's the same as YouTube or Facebook so you can subscribe there and you can join my account in uh, Facebook too but mine's always is the best because it's more secure uh, we don't trust those liberals they can take you down anytime um, and if you like to learn about Islam more you wanted to have some books in your hands you can search in Amazon for Christian Prince books and Amazon Germany we have in German we have uh, uh, in Spanish uh, I mean we have in all uh, uh, language languages you name it um, German Ocean uh, this one is not good for you that's that's not good for you you have to be mature you have to be mature to read it don't buy this one six and Allah is two volumes and we have uh, a Spanish book translation of the deception of Allah it just uh, out you know not long time ago maybe two weeks uh, yeah so you know uh, um, for those who speak languages in the French and Dutch etc so feel free to get my books from Amazon and you can find them in Amazon of your country not necessarily amazon.com all right and yet don't forget to subscribe so you will be notified when we go live on air and with this I want to say thank you and I appreciate having you here and we hope that's Mujahid who listened to us today and we spoke to him he will make a decision of a man because I believe he deserved better he sounds like a nice guy but yet he is not brave yet to make a clear decision and life is about being a person who make decisions you make a decision to take the bus to take a job to leave a job to marry to etc all life is decisions even simple stuff is about decision so I advise every one of us to be firm and sure of his decisions otherwise decisions sometimes foolish decisions especially can cost you heavily and I believe Islam is a very wrong decision to be in it as you see you cannot stand five minutes of examination it's very easy to demolish and it's easy come easy go they force you to say Shahada they fool you to say Shahada lying to you that Islam have scientific facts the fact Islam is the religion of facts about stupidity and nothing about it is true and we prove it every day so thank you for being here may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord Islam is false 
and see you soon again. Bye-bye.